Next, we have this one. How many grams of H2O can be produced from 7.25 moles of H2? The given here is the number of moles of one substance and we're going to determine the mass of another substance from the same reaction. So the given here is 7.25 moles of H2. By the way, this one is a mole to mass calculation. The given is the number of moles and we're going to determine the mass. So for this one, we, f we first need to from mole of H2 to the moles of H2O. So moles of H2O. So again, this one is the molar ratio. So for the mole of H2, just look in the uh, balanced chemical equation. So the ratio here is 2 mole to 2 mole of H2O. Then after converting this one to mole of H2O, we can convert this one to its mass. So grams of H2O. Now, one mole of H2O is equal to how many grams? So this one is conversion of units from mole to mass. So we need the molar mass of H2O. Again, that's hydrogen and oxygen, 1.01 times 2. 1.01 times 2, that's 2.02. .02. Then 16.00 times 1. It's equal to 16.00. The mass is 18.02. So the mass of one mole of H2O is 18.02 grams of H2O. And now we can do the math here. Mole of H2 cancel. Mole of H2O cancel. What's left is the grams of H2. Again, grams of H2O. Then we need to... Um, multiply first. So that's 7.25 times 2 times 18.02. Okay, that's again 7.25. 7.25 times 2 times 18.02. That's 261.29. 261.29 then 2 times 1 is equal to 2 so here uh, we'll divide this one so that's 261.29 divide it by 2 the answer is 130.645 the answer has three significant figures let's round this one to 131 so that's 131 grams of H2O. So the answer for this item is 131 grams of H2O. Let's have another problem. How many grams of O2? Let's erase this first. How many grams of O2 is needed to produce 12 moles of H2O? It's the same pattern, the given to uh, 12.0 moles of H2O. Again, uh, first, the molar ratio, mole of H2O to the moles of O2. And then for the numbers here, just look in the balanced chemical equation. For H2O, the number is 2. Put it here. And for O2, the number is 1. That's 1 mole. And then from the mole of O2, to the grams of O2. Now, one mole of O2 is what is the mass of one mole of O2? So, again, for this one, calculate the molar mass. So, that's oxygen. The mass of oxygen is 16.00. We have here times 2 because that's O2. The answer is 32.00. So, the mass of O2 is, or the molar mass of O2 is, 32.00 mole of H2O cancel, mole of O2 cancel. What's left is the grams of O2. Then here, that's 12.0 times 1 times 32. Let's use the calculator. Okay, that's 12.0 times 1 times 32.00. 
that's 384 okay that's 384 okay 384 over 2 384 over 2 so let's divide this one by 2 divided by 2 the answer is 192 grams of O2 so the answer for this item is 192 grams next last set of questions how many grams of H2O can be produced from 14.5 grams of H2 so here the given is in grams and then we're going to determine the grams of another substance from the same reaction this one is a mass to mass calculation so here 14.5 grams of H2 we're going to convert this first to the number of mole of H2. Again, from grams of H2, convert to the number of moles of H2. One mole of H2, the molar mass of H2, again, that's 1.01 .01 times 2. That's equal to 2.02. So again, that's 2.02. .02. Now, after converting this one to mole of H2 to the mole of H2O, so multiply with the molar ratio. So for the numbers, again, look in the balanced chemical equation. For H2, that's 2, and for H2O, that is also 2. So from mole of H2O, mole of H2O, Convert this one to the grams of H2O. One mole of H2O. What's the molar mass of H2O? 1.01 .01 times 2. 2.02. .02. Then 16 times 1. That's 16. So 18.02. So that's 18.02 grams of H2 cancel, mole of H2 cancel, mole of H2O cancel. What's left is the grams of H2O, the one that we are looking. Okay, grams of H2O, then do the math. It's quite long. That's 14.5. Okay, 14.5. 0.5 times 1 times 1 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 18.02 18.02 the answer is 522.58 522.58 over 2.02 times 2 that's 4.04 then divide this one, okay, uh, we'll divide this one by, divide by 4.04, .04. the answer is 129 point something, the given has three significant figures, we'll round this one also to three significant figures, and that would give us 129, so the answer for this is 129 grams of H2O. Let's have another one. How many grams of O2 is needed to produce 12 grams of H2O? The same thing, 12 grams of H2O. Again, convert this one to moles first. So from grams of H2O, convert to the moles of H2O. One mole of H2O. The molar mass is 18.02. We have computed this one earlier. And then from the mole of H2O to the moles of O2. And again, for the numbers, just look in the table, table in the balanced chemical equation. For H2O, that's 2. And then for O2, that is 1. Next, from mole of O2. Uh, from mole of O2 to the grams of O2. So again, for one mole of O2, 
the molar mass of 1 mole of O2 that's equal to okay O2 so that's 16.00 times 2 that is 32.00 so 1 mole of O2 is equal to 33 uh, 32.00 grams of H2O cancel mole of H2O cancel 1 mole of O2 cancel what's left is grams of O2 then we would do the math 12.0 times 1 times 1 times 32 calculator again again that's 12.0 12.0 times 1 times 1 times 32.32 the answer is 384 384 then 18.02 times 2 times 1 18.02 times 2 that is 36.4 36.04 then divide this one, 384 8, 8, divided by 36.0, 36 that is 10.65 something. So we have in the given three significant figures, three sig figs. So let's round the answer also to three significant figures and that will give us 10.7 because the next number is 5 so that will give us 10.7 grams of O2